Welcome to How to Pass the Math FSA, fourth grade edition. We're working on the standard today. It's maths.4.mbt.1.1, lesson seven. Place value. Not your typical place value either. Um, not what you're used to anyway, where you're identifying the place value. Oh, sorry. Let me teach you. <laughs> All right. We have, let me see, how many examples do I have for you today? I have five examples for you today. So how many times greater is the value of the five and 750,600 than the value of the five and 75,060? So, I'm going to show you how to do this problem, because that is what I do. I am lining these numbers up so that their place values match. So this is the ones place, here's the tens place, here's the hundreds place, here's the thousands place, here's the ten thousands place, tt. And here is the hundred thousands place. Um, okay, so it says for us to compare how much greater is this 5 than the value of this 5. Well, this 5, each time you go, we're just jumping one place value. And each time you jump one place value, it's going to be times 10. So times 10. So this 5 is 10 times greater than this 5. That's all you do. So how much greater is the value of the five in this? The value of the five is 10 times greater, or just 10 would work. I wanna plug in right here a video. It's called Place Value. It's, um, it's a song that I wrote to help you with this. Now, it's I'm combining the fourth and the fifth grade standards for this song, um, but you'll see in this lesson and the ones coming up that the song will actually help you a little bit. So don't claim to be the best singer, but it's just the content that I'm working on. So um, go ahead and watch that. Let's go to example two. For that last one, example one, I just wanna plug in that, remember that you only record your answer in that box. Notice how before all of my work was over here for example one, the only thing I wrote inside of the box was the answer, so make sure you do that too. Example two, how many times greater how many times greater is 3,600 than 360? So let's line them up to see. We've got 3,600 and we've got 360. Decimal to the left, ones, tens, and hundreds. Easy as it get, 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 gets. Place value, place value, thousands. So now I have my places. The song that I was singing was the one that I was just talking about before. This one too. Let's take a look at it. All right, we're seeing how many times greater is it. So I see the same digits going. Here I've got 3600 zero, zero, and then 360. Zero. So, but each number, as you can see, this zero hops over here. This six hops over here. And this three hops over to the next place value, okay? The zero hops over, I, you, do, you understand. Um, so each time I hop, again, I'm multiplying by 10. So really 360 times 10 equals 3,600. So this number is 10 times greater. Wait a minute, last answer was 10? This answer was 10. Hmm. All right, example three. Write a number that is 10 times greater than 4,400. 4,400. So 4,400, I need a number that's 10 times greater. So I just, we know that when we multiply by tens, we just take the number that we're given 
and add a zero. So I'm going to write 4, 4, 0, 0. And then because I'm multiplying by 10, we add a zero. 1's, 10's, 100's, comma, so 44,000. There it is, though. Times 10. 10 times again. Hmm. 4. How many times greater is the value of the 6 in this number than the value of the 6 in this number? Let's line them up and compare. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 5. Looking at that, so how would I read that? 123,000. 165. And the next one I've got 1, 2, 3, comma, 4, 5, 6. Comparing this 6. Let's read it. 123,456. So from this 6 to this 6, I just hopped from one place to another. And when we hop from one place to the very next, it is times 10. Times 10. Times 10 again! This is so weird. Times 10 in example 1, times 10 in example 2, times 10 in example 3. I'm going to make a prediction that example 5 has times 10. Let's go see. Doop -a -doop -boop 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 -boop. My prediction was correct, times 10. I know I didn't even read it yet, but my prediction was correct. We'll get to that in a second. Um, let's go ahead and answer this question, though. Mrs. Williams. Hey, Mrs. Williams, fourth grade. You know who you are. Hi, class. This is a shout out to you, Mrs. Williams. Um, I know that you're using this resource, so I wanted to plug you in, but now you're a rock star, so... You've always been, though. Um, we go back. Mm, Mrs. Williams writes the following number on the board. She writes the number 789,123. Okay. She instructs her students, because I know she would do this, to write a number where the value of the 9 in their number is 10 times greater than the value of the 9 on the board. Duan, this is a shout out to my boy Duan. You know who you are. You know I've got mad love for you. Duan writes, a, writes the number 781,923. Is his answer correct? And explain how you know. So we're comparing the values of the nine. Let's just make sure my place values are all lined up. Okay, so we're going from this nine to this nine, which would be 10, actually no. Here's the number she wrote. She said to write a number that was 10 times. So the nine that would be 10 times should be in this column. Is that where he put his 9? No, it's not. He went 10 times or divided by 10. He went 10 times less or he divided by 10 here. So his answer is not correct. Sorry, Duan. You keep trying, man. Okay. Duan's answer is not correct. Let's write this down. I gotta squeeze his answer into my open response box. You can't have anything outside of it. Alright. Duan's, I know it's small. But listen and write, Dwan's answer is not correct because the value of the 9 in his number of the 9 in his number is 900, which is true, 900, zero, zero, 900, which is 10 times less, and that's huge, which is 10 times less than 
the value of the 9 in Mrs. Williams. 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 Is that apostrophe S? Mrs. Williams number. I don't know. Miss Williams will teach you that class. All right. That's it. That's example five. Oh, before we go to our motivational message, did you notice, I hope you did, because I've been kind of like putting it in your face, that it's 10 times greater is what we'll be looking for. For this standard, it says that you're only going one place over to the right. So it's always going to be 10 times greater. Okay. You might see 10 times less, but in fifth grade, you actually go 10 times and then 100 times. Sorry, 10 times and then 100 times for the next jump. But in fourth grade, you only have to worry about 10 times. So that's that. Let's do our motivational message next. Okay, champs. Our motivational message for today is hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. What does this mean? Let me give you an example. When I was in fourth grade, and shout out to my awesome fourth grade teacher, Mrs. Steele, um, really changed things around for me. I don't know if she knows it, but she's kind of the reason why I became a teacher. Anyway, we had to do this, um, we did around the world a game for multiplication facts. And there was this kid, his name was Lee. And Lee was really talented at his multiplication facts. And in the beginning of the year, he beat me. We would go and he would always win, he would always win. But guess what, I already told you this. You will not outwork me. I am one of the hardest workers. I, I just, mm, I gotta work hard. So you know what I did? I went home and I practiced and I went home and I practiced and I went home and I practiced and I said, I'm gonna get him. I am going to be the best at and the fastest at my multiplication facts. I worked so hard. My mama didn't have to tell me to do it. My dad didn't have to tell me to do it. It was me, it was between me being the top and not the top just to be like, hey, hey, I'm a top multiplication. No, because I wanted to be fast. It was a challenge for me. It was a goal I set. I wanted to be the best. Um, so I worked hard. I worked really hard. And Lee, who was really talented, just kept doing what he was doing. He was fast and he knew he was fast but he didn't know I was coming up on him. He wasn't going home working hard every night on his multiplication facts like I was. So it didn't take long, it took a little bit, but eventually I started creeping up on him and eventually, boom, I got him. I think it was what, six times eight, and I said 48, faster than he did, okay? Because hard work beats talent. You might be smart, you might be the, one of the smartest people, one of the smartest kids in your class, but if you do not work hard, it doesn't mean anything. If you are a hard worker, that is what matters. So you need to continue to work hard. That's it for today. Um, work hard, you guys know. That's what I'm gonna keep preaching, work hard. Keep studying these videos. Too.